So today I'm going to be talking about the log and transfer window in Final Cut Pro. That's going to be when you go file, log and transfer. And with this window, what we're going to do is we're going to use it to bring in footage from tapeless media. For example, I shoot on a Canon 5D Mark II, so I have a compact flash card in my Canon 5D where I shoot to, where I shoot video and I would use a log and transfer window compress that video into a format that Final Cut Pro might use. Um, now, it's very important to note that in order to do so, in order to bring footage into Final Cut Pro using the log and transfer window, that you need to have a plugin installed. Um, you can go to Canon's website and download the EOS Movie plugin, as you see right here where the mouse is, and this will allow you to use the log and transfer window with whatever camera you're using. Uh, Sony has their own plugins that you need, so does Panasonic and, and the P2 cards. So, you know, refer to uh, the documentation that came with your camera and refer to the website for your camera. So then that way you can get the most accurate information about what plugin you need. Anyways, to use a log and transfer window, you're going to go File, Log and Transfer. And as you see here, I have some clips. Here's one of my dog, my wiener dog. Anyways, so what you're going to do is you're just going to select your clip. You have all your logging information here. So you can go ahead and um, name the reel, put a clip name in, scene, pretty much like your logging um, log capture window, just a little bit different. And what you're going to do here is we can also go up and set our import settings. So if we go to preferences, we can say, okay, if it's going to be a plug, a P2, use this, but for the Canon E1 plugin, you know, we're going to use an Apple ProRes 422. I've been pretty impressed with the Apple ProRes 422. I know some people don't like it, but I have never had an issue with it. So, anyways, because it's coming off of the 5D Mark II using the Canon EOS plugin, that it's going to resort to using the Apple ProRes 422 format. Anyways, to bring this in, all we're going to do here is we're just going to drag it down into our um, me drag media here box and it'll start compressing it as we see it, you know, goes. It's going to transfer it here. And uh, so that's pretty much the basics of the log and transfer. After it comes in, I can show you really quick, you know, the footage of my dog in case you really want to see footage of my wiener dog. But I hope that helps you with uh, bringing in footage for the Canon 5D Mark II, the Sony or Panasonic P2 cards. Um, they're just a little quick tutorial. And this will be done here in a second. So it's done, and we see it pops up in our media browser, and we can double click it. And what do you know? There is footage of my dog sniffing the backyard. So there you go. Quick loot tutorial on log and transfer.